Alrighty, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video on changing some fluids and the coyote. I think a lot of people draw out these videos, so I'm gonna try to make this short, sweet, to the point. So my best tip whenever you're changing fluids, take off the fill plug before you take off the drain plug. If you can't get that fill plug off for some reason, now this is obviously pretty easy, but you know, if you work on other things, um, like sometimes differentials and stuff, <laughs> those things get rounded off, you break them, something happens. Take off the fill plug before you take off the drain plug. Go buy you a brand new 30 millimeter socket. That's what you're gonna need for this. And if it doesn't fit, it's because they painted it. Get all this extra paint off. They also paint all the drain bolts orange or the drain and fill points orange. You know it now, but it's useless. So there you go, fits. That was easy. All those metal shavings. So that's a magnet if you didn't know that. Just clean that off. All right, so when it's done draining, put it back in. If you wanted to store this, you could just do that. And this is where it's apparently leaking. All this fluid all over here. This is all nasty. All right, so there's your drain plug, nice and shiny. But you also need to get this one right here. So you can see it's just up front. And that is 14 millimeter with also a ton of paint on it. It's not going to be a lot, but it's just a little extra. You have your drain plug right here, your main one. Your another low point right here. And then you have one big filter here. And the other one is right here. I'll show you on these filters before I take them off. One is called the HST filter, and the other one is the oil pressure filter. And these ones happen to be different colors, even though both on the tractor are black, and they are the same size. However, they do look different. So you're not gonna put the wrong one on. Just so you know, if you use one of these oil filter remover things, you're gonna damage the filter. So make sure you have the right ones because this puts big dents in it. And I've actually used this before and like ripped one to shreds somehow, put holes in the filter. So if you're gonna use one of these, so, uh, lens was dirty. So if you're gonna use one of these, just make sure you have the right filter. It's just about done emptying out. It looks like about 20 quarts came out. About how big my pan can hold anyways. If you don't know what 20 quarts is, it's five gallons. So I'm gonna use at least one, I got two. And if you're wondering, I went to Tractor Supply and I got their universal premium tractor hydraulic trans fluid. I believe the manual recommends, you know, some kind of Chevron stuff, but nobody has it. And it's like $100 for five gallons. This was currently on sale for 54, it's regularly $60. And then they had the sh uh, shell one, but even then it was on sale for $99. I don't, know. I don't think you need it. And you're gonna need at least one of them. I might need more just because I do have a leak. So whatever came out, likely have to put more in, right? All right, so then you wanna usually write on the hours and maybe, you know, when you changed it. I don't know if the camera's seeing me, but uh, I have this really old grease pen. We'll see if this works, but I'm at like 396, 397 hours. So we'll see. I'm just gonna put 397, round it off. I don't know if that's going to stay or not, but this is black and I plan to use a Sharpie. So we'll see if that works. If not, I mean, it's my tractor. I know when I did it. I don't plan on selling it ever. I'm going to give it to my son. You want this tractor? Yes. When you're older? Yes. You're going to have some property? Yes. You're going to farm? Yes. 
You gonna be a farmer like daddy? Yes. I thought you wanted to go in the army. First, I get money. Then. I are you gonna join the army or are you gonna join the Marine Corps like daddy? Marine Corps. There you go. We don't we don't join that army bullshit, right? Yeah. Okay, Marine Corps. Thank you. Hey, okay. come hold this filter. I think that little mark is the fill line. That's where it's at, so that would be good. I did put in just slightly more than I took out. And when I looked at it before, I was not completely full. Let's try that again. I really hate dipsticks like this where it's so hard to get out. I think I'm good. Anyways, that's how you change your transmission hydraulic fluid. It's the exact same stuff. Those are the two filters. You need a 30 millimeter and a 14 millimeter wrench and an oil filter wrench or, you know, some strong hands or something. It took about five quarts or excuse me, um, 20 quarts or five gallons. And yeah, I don't know, that, that's it. It's, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, and I did check them at 396.3 hours. So putting it at 397, good deal. All right. I do need to do the front diff fluid. I'm gonna do that next, but it's now late in the day. I have to go get my evening chores done and then much other stuff. So uh, I'll just do that on another video. All right, that's it, bye. Take my